Hi everybody, and thanks for tuning into my channel. Today I wanted to show you something a little bit different than uh, my normal everyday, you know, things I see out in the world. This is a Life magazine, and it's from August of 1943, and it was 12 cents back then. So August 1943, it was about two years before the before World War II ended, and I kind of wanted to show, I wanted to show everyone what kind of advertisements, what kind of things were were in Life magazine about halfway through World War II. Um, the cover shows a, a female worker welding, and she's a steel worker. So. I always find it interesting looking through old magazines and a lot of people have probably never seen a magazine from from 1943 and you know you can find these things in thrift stores garage sales possibly but you know what a lot of them are just stored away in people's basements or people's attics or, or wherever. So this is the first advertisement I wanted to show you. This one is titled Rely on Reliance. And look at the guy. He's got a pocket with some smokes in it. It's a convenient cigarette pocket. <laughs> and that's something that I don't think you would see in a magazine nowadays, like unless it was a really off-the-wall type of magazine. Work shirts with many a plus. It goes on to talk about how it's big and easy fitting. There's big Yanks plus features. Anyway, I love the convenient cigarette pocket. That's just hilarious to me. What else have we got here? Maybe some of you have a grandma or a grandpa or Someone who collects these sorts of things. Oh yeah, here we go. So this, this is a story about the African American soldiers, except they call them the Negro Division. And it's a funny little snippet here. When, Ger when German prisoners recently were sent to a U.S. prison camp, they said that the best fighters they encountered in North Africa were Australian troops and American Negro troops. Isn't that funny? It's interesting that uh, that they would feature that. What else have we got here? Oh. There's a guy pictured in the jungle somewhere. Oh yeah, I used to work for a law firm and I used to be involved in tobacco litigation. And we used to find a lot of these in old magazines. Advertisements for cigarettes. Doctor's report on Philip Morris proved far less irritating to the nose and throat. When smokers changed to Philip Morris, every case of irritation of nose or throat due to smoking either cleared up completely or definitely improved. <laughs> <laughs> so all you had to do was just smoke Philip Morris and it would take away that awful taste that other cigarettes gave you. <laughs> this finer cigarette is less irritating, safer for the nose and throat. Now you gotta wonder how right they were. Finer flavor, less irritating, America's finest cigarette. Oh yeah. There's one of those awesome bombers. Where's the bomber? It's a fortress. The Boeing Fortress. And everything in here is war related, even the Frigidaire uh, advertisement. Uh, buy war bonds for victory. Oh, hey. These are the, this is what they thought a modern kitchen would look like. So, 
it looks like they thought, well, I mean, it's pretty, it's pretty fancy looking. It's pretty fancy. I mean, look at this lady. She's got, look at her sink. I mean, there's stuff that's all integrated, and the knives are up here. It's all clear. Clear cabinets. She's even got a bar stool. Look at that. Kitchens of tomorrow may look like this. Potatoes are paired in sink. Electric garbage unit grinds pairings. Vegetable drawer tilts, so contents roll forward. How handy. This is the sink. The faucet handles, which are a great hazard to dishes in China, have been eliminated. <laughs> Water is controlled by foot pedals. Really? Where's my foot pedals? I don't have any foot pedals in my kitchen nowadays. Oh, boy. So this is the oven. <laughs> Housewife can see roast cooking. Isn't that offensive now? Housewife can see roast co cooking. Regulate temperature, ri raise or lower roast with oven closed. Look at that baby. That's awesome. This lady's talking to her tiny dog about her... about her, uh... face cream. With Elbeline. Here's another cigarette ad. We got the tunnel of love there. Apple honey guards flavor. Guards freshness. Look at this happy couple. Why is she sitting in front? He's in the back. What's up with that? Have you heard about apple honey? No change in taste. The pleasure of them all. Apple honey is a new conditioning agent that guards the natural moisture. Oops, sorry. The focus there. That guards the natural moisture tobaccos require to stay moist and flavorful. Old Gold uses it to help keep our choice blend fresh on the way to you. They're all sprayed with apple honey until every shred is reached. It is completely tasteless, makes no change in the grand flavor that has made Old Gold so popular. I don't think I've ever even heard of Old Gold cigarettes. I wonder how long they lasted. This new moistening agent was first developed by scientists in the Eastern Regional Research Laboratory of the U.S. Department of Agriculture. Wow, really? We named it Apple Honey. <laughs> what else we got here? Here's some famous highs. Wrestling high. I'm not sure what this is all about. Ooh, whiskey! It's all about whiskey. Hey, my buddy Andy um, Meckwig. Or Food Quig. That's his channel. You should check him out. He would probably... I wonder, do they still sell 10 high? Tell us, Andy. Tell us. Two strong men wrestled 8 hours and 17 minutes in the longest wrestling match on record, but it will take you only a second at a sip to discover that today's 10 high, the whiskey with no rough edges, holds the smoothie record. Corn husking high. More than half a bushel a minute is the amazing corn husking record set by an... Illinois farmer, and you never tasted corn put to better use than in the rich, satisfying, real bourbon flavor of Ten High. And then it goes on about how the railways must give war materials and food the right of way, so your dealer shipment of Ten High may sometimes be delayed. Oh, oh yeah, this one. This one's interesting. So, you can probably see what why this wouldn't really fly nowadays. Just ask a Jap what it feels like to be up against men who are fortified with victory vitamin C. <laughs> yeah. Canned Florida grapefruit juice, rich in victory vitamin C. Mr. Tojo, a year or so ago. Who's Mr. Tojo? He must have been the Japanese... Um, politician or something. Americans have grown soft. How well every Jap knows the truth today, for he's up against men with iron wills and nerves of steel, and bodies hard as nails. Yep. Just ask a Jap. Here's one for a pipe. Yellow bowl. 
the ads look great. Like, look at the resolution on them. The honey cured smoke. The yellow bowl of this pipe is the secret of an extremely mild, fragrant smoke at all times, and especially the first few times you smoke it. There's no breaking in at all. It stays sweet and serene continuously. Oh yeah. Now it doesn't look like magazines have changed much over the years. Oh, this one's great too. Look at this. Smokers, here's a relief from smokestack throat. Be smart. Don't let smoking make your throat feel like a smokestack. Enjoy a Ludens between smokes. Cool menthol clears out that brown taste in a jiffy. Well, I guess they uh, got smart and started making menthol cigarettes eventually, eh? If you're going to smoke a cigarette and feel all like a smokestack, you may as well bit that cooling refreshment at the same time. <laughs> Here's a new flavor in cough relief. Oh, boy. There's a shark. I'm trying to sell some Imperial blended whiskey. Oh, there's another one for you, Andy. Oh, here's another good one. I like Camel's full flavor so much better. They suit me to a T. Because it's the T-zone, yo. Where cigarettes are judged. <laughs> oh, boy. We believe Camel's will suit your T-zone to a T. Prove it for yourself. And these guys are enjoying their smokes. It's always camels with me. They're easy on my throat. They've got what it takes. Is that a model? Huh. Anyway, thanks for joining me on this uh, old magazine tour. Catch y'all later. Thanks for tuning in. Bye for now.